Hey, hello everyone. My name is Richard. I'm a motivational speaker and life purpose coach. I hope this program helps someone today. Another episode from Life for Living Well. If you have any question, please write to me at info at life for living dot info. Again, info at life for living dot info. I hope you enjoy this program today. St- Relax and enjoy it. Thank you. So this week, I'm continuing from the last week episode, The Virtue of Self-Motivation. And this week, I'm looking to our lazy people as part two of Virtue of Self-Motivation can use motivation to minimize the impact of laziness in their personal life, in their professional life, in their physical life, and their emotional well-being. So let's start. Let's get it started. Once again, if uh, if you just join me right now, my name is Richard, and I'll be presenting this particular topic from Life on Living Well. And this is a continuous uh, series, and this is the second part of the uh, topic virtue of self-motivation so i'm looking into what we're talking about three types of people that having a internal motivations are a big challenge for them so uh this week i'm looking into which is the second part of the series is like lazy people but so the art of self-motivation is not an easy task to embark on without any internal strength or positive role models. This is what, this has been my observation for years, and this is thing that been testified around every one of us to say. So whenever you are tasty or hungry for a deeper growth, either to build on your strength or develop a new habit, you definitely need uh, internal motivation to make it happen. Passion will take you far, but it won't take you long. Um, determination will take you far, it won't take you long. But having a motivation within yourself will take you a long, long way to what kind of life or what kind of person you want to be. So, as a lazy individual, how can they do self motivation? How self motivation is very difficult? If you haven't read part one of this article or you haven't listened to the first video or podcast of this particular topic, I recommend that you should create this time to listen or watch it. You may be able to link it to the part two. And, and I'm sure that this video will be able to help someone today. So number one thing I wanted to mention with this particular video is me, myself, because I don't want you to have illusion that I have everything all together. Me, myself, I'm not completely free from laziness, especially area that I have zero interest. If I'm not particularly interested in a particular area, I find it that I need extra super, extra motivation to make it happen so surely uh area we coming for accounting i probably wanted to give it to someone that is even more better than me in this area but i find out that having to run some of your stuff by yourself you there's no short way to it you just have to uh determine to train yourself to learn the necessary skills, develop the necessary skills to do it in a proper way. I'm personally capable to procrastinate on trivial things as well. I'm getting better with time and awareness of it. So the awareness of my own laziness has helped me over the years to able to make sure that this has not been an obstacle to a productivity an healthy life or a sensible or or living a life that I really want to live or I want it for myself and people around me. There is no point to preaching to people around you how they should live a life. 
you yourself should start living that life and being an example that inspires other people to want to live that kind of life. So what I wanted to let's get started about this particular topic, the virtue of self-motivation, lazy people. What is it that lazy people find challenging in motivating themselves? There are other forms of laziness that I have seen, which is helplessness. These are very uh, strange for me, and it's also the most complex laziness I have seen when individuals have developed some kind of mindset, which is mostly a negative mindset, where they've seen everything as hopeless and they seem like they are incapable to change their current situation in a way that can make them uh, happy in life with negative thinking so they develop a helplessness with negative thinking such as for example people say to themselves i won't get a better job because i'm too old I have no better academic qualifications or where I live or where I live there's no job or people of my age can't find a job anymore or things are not used to be anymore or there's no good woman there's no good man out there anymore or relationship is terrible all sorts of things people come up with that conclusion and that make them to actually put effort into themselves improve themselves improving their own confidence, improving their self-esteem, and go for exactly what they actually want most. These types of laziness is difficult to let go due to lack of awareness and avoidance of responsibility. So because of these people are more aware of responsibility, they totally avoid it and come up with all sorts of reasons why their life remains the same. But for those who like to live a well, meaningful life, not just okay life, then there is a hope. This is what I thought when I was speaking to someone recently. I asked her, I said, what do you, how do you spend your day? And she gave me a wide reason why it's so difficult to meet anyone. Firstly, he think that every people already married, so she live in a very small village, and the access to the population for available dating resources is so limited, and the only option she is currently invest in is online dating, and she met in all sorts kind of people that doesn't really gel with her. So I said to her, I said, what kind of person do you really think you want? And she go into the kind of uh, archetypes of pe- person that she feel like she can go well in relationship with. I listened to her very well and I asked another question. You yourself, do you live your life that particular way right now? And the answer to that question is no. And I said, why do you think another person that already in that position we decided to be with someone that is not like in that position at the moment? And she couldn't answer that. And I said, only when you invest in yourself and you become exactly what you really want, sometimes that most of the time that's what you actually need because likely like I try like. But that's not always the case. Sun attracts moth all the time, but it doesn't mean moth is the same level as sun. It's just the energy of the sun and the brightness of the sun. You cannot hide away from it. So, but when you know the caliber and the quality of a person you are, it's easier for you to filter out what is right for you, what is not right for you. So, back to the main conversation. Whether you like it or not, your environment has much impact on how you think and your belief. So these are the things that I want to tell people that struggle to follow their own goals, their own mean. Where you, your environment where you spend a lot of your time and the people you spend a lot of your time and the kind of belief and mindset you set to yourself, we have a lot of influence in your energy, in your motivation to make things happen. 
you attract what you think and create what you imagine. Word of a wise man from Buddha. So whatever you think is what you will attract. And whatever you created is what you already imagine. And so your thought, you have a responsibility to ensure that your thought, your thinking is ethy and support the kind of lifestyle or the kind of life or material or spiritual you want to bring into your space. The only way to get out of this trap is to be prepared to work on your mindset. It is important to have goals or work on develop a virtue that higher than yourself. So for lazy people, this is what I will say to you. Be intentional with your action. Set a goal or develop a character of virtues. Work toward developing these virtues that is higher than yourself. And it's not going to be easy. If I told you it's going to be easy, I'm totally in line. You have to be intentional. Let's say you composite that passionate about uh, animal dog. Have you ever considering that there's a lot of abandoned, uh, there's a lot of dogs, shelter, do uh, shelter home for dogs where they need people to volunteer. There's a people, old people home that feel lonely, that they need somebody to keep their complaint. Don't just use your time and sit down on the TV and watching TV. Begin to appreciate to live life rather than just be exist existence. I've seen a lot of people that live long, but they just barely exist in life. They are not living. They walk, they come home, they walk, they come home. Life is more than this. So uh, other area that I wanted to talk about is this. So let's look into what is within your control. There are countless goals available to pick from, such as volunteering for good cause, helping the most deserving in the society, traveling, and even better, write about it to educate and encourage others. So there's so many things that you could actually spend your natural talent, your natural being to, not just living your life for yourself alone, but look around you. There's always a thing that you can do that can make a difference. What are the immediate benefits of doing most of this uh, trait or character that I mentioned before? One, you may experience gradual positive attitude and feelings about yourself. And the more happy you are, the more thing you do. People go to the wrong. People think that you do a lot of things that make you happy. No, happy people do a lot of things. You don't do a lot of things so you can be happy. When you are happy, you have so much inspiration, so much activity, so much energy that make you do things. So that's what I want you to put in your mind and even encourage you to seek opportunity wherever you may find it so or create one where you are so if people that find themselves in a place where opportunities are limited that is an opportunity for them to create an opportunity in this scarcity so i'm employing you wherever you listen to this message today do not let your situation or circumstances discourage you to follow your passion to follow your dream to follow your goals so lastly in addition, you will improve your energy level, which creates more positive feelings with good aura around you, better and healthy relationships with yourself and others. Happy people do more good rather than do more to seek happiness. That's exactly what I'm trying to emphasize with you. And the only first thing that makes you happy is that you're proud about yourself. You feel good about yourself. And because you feel good about yourself, you tend to do good things more for yourself and everything around you. In the last part of my message, I'm going to talk about the other side, which is the last part of this video, which I'm going to talk about next week. It's about perfectionist individual. So Bachelor of Self-Motivation from the point of perfectionist. And I wanted to examine that in this video. I hope this particular current episode helps someone. And if you have any message, please feel free to write to me at 
uh, info at lifeforlivingwear.info. Again, info at lifeforlivingwear.info, or you can check our website at www.lifeforlivingwear.info. So I hope you have an amazing week and enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you very much.